Welcome back. NASA is about to launch a new satellite. It's the first joint space mission between the U.S. and India. Joining us now is NASA Administrator Dr. Mark Clampion to talk about how it will change our view of Earth. Fascinating. Good morning to you, Mark. Good morning. So tell us about the new mission. So this is a new mission that studies the surface of our Earth. It's essentially a very large radar that points at the Earth and uh, it measures uh, the height of the Earth. So you can think of that as it's basically taking 3D pictures of the Earth's surface. And so it can measure up as precisely as a centimeter change over the size of uh, half a tennis court. So it's going to allow us to do things like improve our, um, the information we provide uh, on agriculture, ag the agricultural economy. Uh, it will help us understand natural um, hazards such as earthquakes, volcano eruptions, shoreline evolution over time. Uh, and it will also allow us to study sea ice and glaciers. So what's something that you're most excited to see? So I'm really excited by the fact that this uh, new mission will allow us to improve our understanding of how earthquakes occur and also volcanic eruptions. You know, by, by monitoring these regions over time, we will be able to see, for instance, in the case of volcanoes, magma start to well underneath volcanic areas. So we'll be able to do a better job of uh, helping to predict volcanic eruptions. When is the satellite going to launch and when do you expect it to be up and running? So the satellite will launch on the 30th of July, so it's coming up very quickly. And uh, once we've launched the satellite, uh, we have to do what we call commissioning. So the satellite essentially has to unfold itself. The radar dish for this satellite is about 40 foot in diameter, and we have to unpack that very slowly. So it will take several months to get everything unfolded, unpacked, and uh, properly installed before we start taking scientific data. And how long do you anticipate that satellite being in space? So the mission is designed to operate for three years, but as you know, many of our satellites actually end up operating much longer. And it really comes down to the value of the data. And I think uh, all of the uh, communities that use this satellite will want to use the data as long as they possibly can. Mark, where can our viewers learn more about the mission? Uh, so you can go to the NASA webpage, nasa.gov backslash NISA, or you can also go to the NASA YouTube channel where you can also see the launch in India as well. Well, thank you so much for being here. Certainly fascinating. Wishing you the best of luck on the mission. Thank you. Do stay with us. Mike's got to check in the floor.